Hi everybody, I hope that you don't mind that I am vlogging in my bedroom today and the main reason why is because my home office is currently being repainted so there's like you know some restoration work going on there downstairs right now so um, like, you know, I won't bore you the details with that because it's really not necessary but the reason why I am doing this video right now is because I have with me the new Hourglass Ambient lighting edit on lock palette and as you guys can see here i actually chose the artwork featuring the owl because that's what's great about the, you know these holiday releases on hourglass is that you can actually choose the artwork that you prefer for your palette so before i continue um if you are not familiar with hourglass during the holiday season they release like you know certain palettes and certain artworks and if you go to the hourglass website you will see the different palettes that you can choose from and also the artwork that you want to put your palette in so the main reason why i chose the owl artwork here because i just find the colors very chic where in the white here works very well with the brown tones of the owl you know the beigey tones and the artwork here the owl like you know it looks quite stunning it's also very pretty i do have to say all right now the palette that i chose is actually palette number three and the reason why i chose palette number three is because this is the one that has the most number of new shades on the palette and again, because basing on what I have understood and read on the Hourglass website, a lot of like, you know, the palette number one and palette number two, there are like, you know, duplicates from colors from last year's palette or even like, you know, I already have some of them in my uh, palettes that I have from Hourglass that I bought from last season. So um, as you guys can see here, it's quite a um, warm palette. I have to say and i believe this will work well with people who have like you know medium to deep skin tones but then again i have yet to try the colors on my skin to see if it will actually fit me quite nicely so what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to swatch each of these colors so i'm going to flip my camera over and i'm going to start by swatching the top row first left to right and then bottom row left to right as well okay so i'm going to put my fingers here here on the blush and here on the strobing powder and I'm gonna put this here, here, here. Amazing color. So this is called Radiant Light and this is a finishing powder. The next is called Coral Haze, which is a blush. It has a very nice orangey tone to it, quite warm. And the next color that we have here is called Infinite Strobe Light. So it's quite a very nice pop of color. Very nice color, amazing. Okay, next, the bottom row. Let's get some of the colors here. Okay, mm, that's nice. Mm, that's actually beautiful. Okay, so this color here, this very nice warm tone, like an you know, almost bronzy kind of a color. This is called Sunbeam, a very apt name for the shade. The next color that we have here is Mystic Flush, very nice warm tone. And the next color that we have here is the bronzer, which is called Solar Light. Okay, so what I'm seeing right now is that the color story of the swatch here on my arm is very warm and it's quite orangey. So this kind of like gives me an idea now of what kind of colors I'm going to expect on my face. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to add a hint of foundation and powder into my face so that we just have a nice like, you know, even um, like, you know, canvas for all of these colors to apply with. Okay, so I'm just going to pop out and then I'm going to come back in when I have some foundation on. Oh, by the way, when I actually went to the Hourglass website to buy this palette, I also decided to buy a concealer. So what I have here is the Vanish Airbrush Concealer, and this is in the color Sepia. So we will be trying this out today as well. And I'm just gonna add that here. Okay, so I'm actually quite surprised on how, <laughs> like, you know, the formula of this kind of like looks full to me so let me just blend that out first and try to see okay so basing on the name of this concealer when it says vanish it really <laughs> makes all of the dark tones from your under eyes like literally vanish so this is actually the first time that i'm really trying this out in its full packaging because the last time i tried this it was in a tester size 
and I am seeing right now that like, you know you have to be very light-handed with this concealer and I'm finding that it's a little bit too light for my skin tone so I'm just patting a little bit of the foundation on top of the concealer just to bring down that highlight okay and by the way today I am shooting under natural light so pardon if the light is changing I was actually thinking of shooting with artificial light on but you know when I'm trying out um, blushes and finishing powders and bronzers I actually really really prefer to use natural light with it because I find that the artificial light kind of like changes the way that it reflects the pigments back on screen and it kind of like appears lighter than how it intends to be okay wow so this concealer is proving to be quite pigmented and there's a certain opacity to it as well so i have to be very careful with this concealer but i kind of like the way that it just adds a very nice hint of radiance in the under eye area wow it's a very brightening under eye type of a concealer not bad not bad at all okay so let's move on to powder and i would actually like to use my Givenchy Prism Libre. So this is in the shade Voile Rose. So I'm just going to tap a little bit of it here on the cap and then I'm just going to set the under eye area with this. Because after all, we're using a lot of powder products today. So we really need some powder all over just so that they all glide effortlessly. Now, by the way, for all of my skincare products that I use today before doing this video, it's going to be listed down on the description box. So head down there, okay? Okay, so now that the powder in my under eyes is actually set now, so I'm going to be powdering the rest of my face and I'm going to be using still the Prism Libre powder from Givenchy, but I'm using a deeper shade and this is in Popeline Mimosa. And I'm going to be using a fluffy brush for this. And I'm just going to blend this all over. Now, Popoli Mimosa is a much more deeper shade than what I usually like to use. But I actually like to use like, you know, deeper shades and powder on myself. Just so that it kind of like adds dimension already. Which I actually like. Okay, so that's my face powdered down. So let's start and try and using the colors that we have here. So I will start by using this Radiant Light um, Finishing Powder. And this is actually one of my most favorite um, finishing powders from Hourglass because I just think that it will work well for my skin tone because it already has a hint of warmth on it as you guys can see. And I'm just loving that it adds a very nice flush into my skin. Now like you know when I have a tan and that's actually fading i like using this powder because it just adds it reignites the warmth on my skin okay so i'm just buffing some of it here into my like you know forehead area just so that we can see it okay and we have this very nice like you know flush of color nice radiance as well and it's making me look like i'm um just like you know, a little bit flushed from within it's actually a very nice color i like it and this is actually like you know also found in the other palette from hourglass that i have which is from the um universe unlock palette so it's actually this one i love this palette very nice and very diverse okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to be adding some blush now the most amazing thing with this palette is that these three colors that we see here these are all blushes and take note that when you see it here on the pan it looks like they're very different colors but when we saw this on the swatch on my arm earlier it's actually quite surprising to see on how orange they all look so it's kind of like worrying me a little bit because orange is not one of those like you know colors that i personally like to use on myself mainly because i have olive undertones and if you have olive undertones, pink blushes work better on you. But anyway, let's try this because we're already here. So, okay, so let's try this color. And this is called Coral Haze. Okay, so it has a marbling effect on the pan. And 
as you guys can see it looks to be a little bit red it's still warm but okay so this is how much this brush picks up so this is actually my Piomo brush and I'm just gonna remove some of this at the back of my hand and I'm gonna apply this on the highest points of my cheekbones here and I'm gonna blend it out okay so it's actually a very warm tone blush as the name implies it's a coral kind of a hazy color it's actually a very nice color but it's also working very well with like you know the yellow tones of my skin so it's really not popping out so much you know but the pigmentation is very nice because it's just giving like a haze of color there you go since so that's the name so it's not overly pigmented and if you want to intensify it a bit you just have to build the color slowly on the cheeks and it's actually working very well with a finishing powder that i applied earlier okay so let me just buff both of these colors together just so we have this very nice you know well-balanced look on the cheeks okay so that's actually very pretty so this is um, coral haze on my skin okay next let's move on to the next blush color and it's gonna be this and this is called mystic flush okay so let me just tap the brush here I'm using a different brush now a clean brush removing the excess and I'm gonna tap that here on the highest points of my cheeks and instantly we can see that this has more pigment this color here in contrast to the other shade that we applied on this cheek of mine so I'm just gonna buff that out and blend it out and make it appear softer so you have to be very careful with this color like you know you have to layer it very carefully and use thin layers because I think if you apply way too much blush in one go you might have difficulty blending it out okay so this is mystic flush did i get the name right yeah so it's mystic flush and it still has this very like you know warm tone orangey tone which is really not that far from this blush here so the main difference is it's just more intense well this one is just a haze of color okay so let me just blend out this blush here so my first initial thought with these two blushes is that they're just way too similar like you know and truthfully if i would choose one color i would choose mystic flush because i can always control the intensity of this color and we're in in such a way depending also on the brush that i use i can achieve this brush blush tone with this blush color so um yeah <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed in that because I would have preferred to have more diverse colors because it's very close. It's very close. And then I'm also a little bit scared to intensify the color a little bit because I don't think my skin can handle a very intense color, if you know what I mean. But if you have deeper skin tones than I do, and if you have like you know a much more warmer undertone on your skin, because my undertone is olive, so it's a little bit cool. I think these blushes will work amazing on you. So see, so I'm just adding a hint of, like you know, the blush, just so that you guys can see, and it's looking just way too much. So the intensity that I applied earlier would have worked better for my skin. Now before we move on to the other blush color here, I would like to use this strobing um, powder and let me get let's say a fan brush hang on okay so i have the fan pro from sonia g and i'm just gonna lightly press it here onto the palette then i'm just going to be careful with the placement of this okay so i'm seeing that as a highlighter this is just way too deep for my skin tone and it's adding a hint of moodiness so this is not working for my skin tone right now it's just way too deep and it's especially obvious as so i put it here on my brow bone 
I mean, it's a very, it's a nice color though, very foily, but it's also a very moody tone to it. It's not much brightening, as you guys can see. Although it's reflecting a lot of the light, but it's not, it's just not, it's not good for my skin tone, I have to say. It's not bringing some lightness and some brightness into it, which is what a highlight is supposed to do for you. So again, if you have deeper skin tones than, than I do, I believe this will work for you. But I think this is like, you know, going to be a very good topper for the eyelid. So we'll try that a little bit later. Okay. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to add some bronzer. And what brush am I going to use? Okay, so now I have the classic cheek brush from the new release of Sonia G. And I'm just going to, like, you know, pick up a little bit of the product here and remove it at the back of my hand and I'm gonna lightly try to bronze up this cheekbone okay let me pick up some more okay I'm becoming a little bit confused at the moment because what's going on right now is that um, my cheeks is looking to become like you know more orange it's not bronzy. Okay, so wait, let me hang on. Let me remove the blush here. Then let me reignite uh, like, you know, my foundation and then I'll just come right back. Okay, so my foundation is back on and I'm powdered. And let's go ahead and try this bronzer again with a clean slate. So let me just tap a little bit of the color on this brush. And then let me just like, you know, start by applying it here on the cheeks and I'm going to blend it out. Okay, so this is a very orange toned bronzer, which is actually quite a surprise for me because on the swatch on my arm, it didn't look this orange. But then again, because this has not, like, you know, the swatch on my arm has not been diffused in this way. I'm actually quite surprised on how orange this bronzer is because I was not expecting this color at all. Okay, and let me just add a hint of, like, you know, that finishing powder here just to try to tie them up together now I actually don't want to use this bronzer for my forehead area because I think that's just the wrong color and I can actually like you know make this bronzer work into like a blush of sorts but I'm just finding it to be a little bit too orange so I would have preferred a much more golden toned bronzer than an orangey toned bronzer that we see here. So I think that's the reason why when I started to layer this with the blush earlier, um, it was just becoming way too orange. So just be careful with that. And basing on this activity alone, I have just realized that the color story of this palette is actually orange. And I think it's just way too orange. There's not a lot of variety of colors to play with which is actually quite surprising. And I'm also finding that the orange here is a little bit like, you know, moody. It's just a very moody tone because, for example, let us try this orangey tone here from the Universe Unlocked palette. And let me just use this brush here. And I'm just gonna add this on top. And I'm just gonna blend it out. So as you guys can see, it has a much more, like, you know, it's more vibrant. And it has a hint of pink on it, which is actually nice. And it kind of, like, pops better on my skin. This one just kind of, like, you know, blends out. And, like, you know, it just, like, you know, if you're, which is, um, like, a good thing. Um, especially if you prefer your blush not to be um, too overwhelming. Or, like, you know, if you don't want it to pop, then this color is good. But... You know this is a blush so it's supposed to really like you know give some sort of like brightness into your skin and unfortunately the blushes on this palette isn't giving me life at the moment okay so let me <laughs> remove this color once again and then i'm just going to add some foundation and powder and we will try the last remaining blush on this palette Okay, so I'm powdered now, 
And let's try and use the final blush here. And this is called, oh, what's the name of this? Sunbeam. Okay, so let me try a new blush brush. Okay, so this is the classic cheek from the Sky series of Sonia G. And let me just press it lightly here because I think this is like, you know, way too pigmented. And let me add it here on the highest points of my cheeks. and blend it out. Okay, so this one has a much more iridescent sheen to it. It also has like a dual kind of a finish, which is actually pretty, and I think it kind of works on me right now. And the highlight here has a hint of like, you know, purple in it, so it's adding a hint of coolness, which is actually nice. But then again, as you guys can see here on the video, it's again a very moody blush tone. And it's actually adding also a hint of bronziness into my skin, which is like almost the same color that we get from the bronzer here. So they're actually very similar to each other. Like as soon as I apply it on my cheeks, they're like almost the same. And then the difference in tones and in the undertones of these colors are actually like, you know, not so far apart. It's actually quite nice. I like it. Not so bad at all. But then again, it's kind of like blending into my skin and it's not popping. So which means it's also working with like, you know, the yellow tones of my skin. It's giving me a much more like, you know, gentler flush of color. But as I'm sure as soon as I intensify this, it's just going to overwhelm my skin tone. Okay, so I have to be very careful with these <laughs> blush colors okay so let me just like you know go back out of the screen and then i'm just gonna remove these um blushes and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna try to apply a much more like you know well balanced <laughs> blush application on my cheeks okay so i'm powdered down and i'm uh, rushing a little bit because i think i'm losing the sun <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so let's try and use the like you know the the color here called mystic flush i hope i'm remembering the name correctly and i'm just going to layer this very lightly on top of my cheek here so that it's just gonna give me a nice warm haze of color and I also think that the finish of this has less shimmery pearls. So you have to be very careful on how you actually apply this and blend this out because it's going to take some skill. Because there are no shimmers in it. So it might be a little bit difficult to kind of like, you know, bluff your way when you're using this color. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of the finishing powder here called radiant light and i'm gonna put this on top of that you know as a topper of sorts just to add a hint of radiance and just to bring down the warmth a little bit the ready the red tones of the blush and i'm gonna buff it out some more so am i like you know happy with the palette well truthfully um, i'm still 50 50 with it if i like it or not uh, mainly because like you know just my personal preference is coming out wherein like you know i don't like using this like, you know orangey kinds of blush tones on my skin because pinks will work better as i said earlier but i believe that if you have deeper skin tones this palette might work for you especially if your skin tone is deeper than mine but like you know as i've said it's just way too orange everything is just way too orange and um i think like you know if they this palette should have been released for the summer season because it was a, this would have been perfect. And I just wish that the bronzer here was n didn't have an orangey undertone to it because like, you know, sometimes orangey um, bronzers are not flattering on the skin. Do you think I can use this for my eyelids? Let's try before we close out this um, video. So I'm just picking up a bit of the bronzer and I'm applying it here on my eyes I'm just buffing it out okay what's amazing though is that it's actually very easy to apply and to blend out the bronzer shade here but as I can see right now here on the screen it's just way too orange 
Okay, so let's try and adding some of my under eye. Just so that we can see, you know, the balance of color. Okay, and let me pick up some of this strobing color here and let me add it here onto my lid. Just so that we can have some drama on our eyelids. Okay, let me just blend out the edges a little bit more and I think we are done with today's experiment. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do you approve? Um, again, as I've said earlier, I'm still on the fence if I like this palette or not. So um, I'm also kind of glad that I'm a makeup artist because I know I can use this on other people, not just on myself. And if there's anything that's like, you know, proving to be positive right now is that like, you know, the color range here, the color tones will actually work with the other palettes that I currently have from Hourglass. So if I'm going to put it beside the Universe Unlock palette, very nice workable, like, you know, color story here and if i do decide to pair everything with the butterfly palette so it's just gonna give me this very nice like you know um very diverse color range from hourglass but um like you know on a personal basis um, this is not the um palette that i'm gonna be using um for myself but if there's anything though i do have to say the artwork is actually quite pretty but then again what can an artwork do if the palette inside is not working for you if you know what i mean okay so yeah so that's my vlog for today so i hope that you guys enjoyed me showing you how i got to know the new palette from hourglass which is called the ambient lighting edit unlocked in the number three color story here Okay, so if you have any more questions on, like, you know, this palette, please let me know down in the comments box and then let's have a conversation about it. And also one other thing, if you have this palette, let me know how it's working for you. And maybe there might just be something that I'm missing to make it work for me. And I would really love to learn something from you. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys go now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you're having a good day wherever you are. Bye!